Hello, manifestors. It's Terrain with Terrain Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everything is well with you. This is for September. This is for our fire signs. And I am glad you guys are back, 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 checking me out. I appreciate it. I wanted to let you guys know for our collective energy for the month, we got humor. And humor for you guys, for these fire signs, I feel that um, there's been some jealousy around you, um, all of you, you know, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, all of you collectively, people have been um, hating on some of the moves that you've been making. But you're going to get the laugh, laugh. That's what I get from this humor card from you. And you guys, this, your energy is different from all the other readings that I've had. So if you have a rising sign um, or your Virgo sign, your Virgo sign, your rising sign or your um, Venus, your Venus sign, um, if this doesn't resonate with you, check those out if they're in another element. Um, but yeah, you're going to get the last laugh. So that's what the humor is for you guys. You guys are going to get the last laugh. People are jealous of you. People have been jealous of you. They've been hating on you for whatever reason. And I wrote um, for you guys when I was meditating on it is... You're no longer going to be laughed at. You got the last laugh. Jealousy favors no one. And matter of fact, that's maybe the title of this one. Jealousy favors no one. Because you're not jealous. And if you are, hmm, why are you jealous? We're all created with our own special unique abilities. But if somebody's been hating on you, nope. Because jealousy favors no one. I like that from spirit. I may even Instagram that one. Find me on my Instagram, Terrain Tarot. Or is it just Terrain? It's one or the other. Hashtag Terrain Tarot. You can find it. Because I may go ahead and post um, jealousy favors no one. All right. So let's get to it. Nothing but to do it. Who's going to pull on me first? Aries. You guys pulling on me first. But you know what I said? I actually saw, felt you guys' energy um, when I did the earth sign. <laughs> I think when Taurus came out, I, I called out the Aries. So maybe you guys are, since I'm mentioning it again now, which is weird, and maybe a Taurus-Aries connection somewhere. So nonetheless, let's see. Let's get our three. Let's see. Let's get our three. One. Oh, you guys got four. You guys got four. All right. First card is structure. The next one is wheel. And then you got hanging. Just a hangman. And then you got three of things. Structure, if you don't know, is the Hierophant and regular tarot. But in this deck, which is my manifestation deck, structure is learning how to build the foundations and structures, regardless of what that is, knowledge. Um, and of course, the Hierophant is knowledge, but anyway. Hmm. So what I'm feeling for you guys right now is that um, there's some foundations and some things that you have measured and put into place. And a lot of people have not, no, a lot of, well, not a lot of people didn't trust, trust that your business savvy or the ideas that you 
had moving along were going to amount to anything. You know, it's kind of like, because the plane is popping out right here for me. It's kind of like when somebody said, oh, we're going to fly one day. And people were like, you know, way back in the day before there was planes um, and had the technology to do that and understand aerodynamics is something that you have thought of or planning or putting together kind of like an inventor kind of thing but it's not something you're inventing it's just an it's an idea and and path that um that you put together like you've taken multiple disciplines is what i'm feeling because the books are also popping out so you've taken multiple disciplines and you are mending and marrying them in together um to design something new for you or design something new for society in some type of way. Uh, whether it's a new app or new program, it's something new um, where you've decided a bunch of disciplines and you're not sure how to move with it. Um, and so you feel like you're stuck and your ideas aren't going anywhere. You feel stuck. But like I said earlier, people are jealous because you see the potential. You see you see your end result. It's like you have the vision and you know what it looks like and you know how it's gonna run and you you know it. You can feel it in your bones. Aries, you can feel it in your bones. Um but you just don't know how to, you don't know the vehicle in which to manifest it all the way through. Okay. And so you're stuck and you're thinking about it and you're thinking about it and you're thinking about it. All right. Let's get you some support, wisdom, some mystical wisdoms, some mystical wisdoms. What are you working on? There's one. Mm, dragon, discover your courage. And then you have Epiphany. Under the hangman, seek clarity. That's why you're hanging. And then under the three of things, you have cheer up, life in, live in the moment. Live in the moment. All right. So, dragon, discover your courage. Dis discover your courage to move forward, whatever that type of way is. Discover the courage within you to keep going. It's not even to move forward. So take that out. I mean, some of you is maybe to move forward. But what I just heard is to keep going, to keep going, to keep going, which is still moving forward, but not moving forward where some of you just thought, oh, I get to, I'm going to be out the hangman. Mm -mm, you're not going to be out the hangman. Not for a while still, because it's still saturating. Um, your idea is still it's like a stew. It still needs to gel and connect. Um, so just discover your courage and not to let it go is what I'm feeling and hearing. Not to let this go because this is people going to be jealous. They're going to, they hating. They hating. But what did I say? Jealousy favors no one. Jealousy failures, no one. So under the hangman or hanging, whatever how you want to say it, um, is seek clarity. So you may need to get into some meditational state. You may need to just sit back and wait until um, you feel the need to move with the next step. Like I said, having the will and having the courage to continue to wait 
even if it's six months, somebody doesn't want to hear that. Even if six months from now, six to 10 months is what I just heard. Six to 10 months in this energy regarding this particular structure of um, design. Six to 10 months of in this energy to seek clarity. Spirit wants you to sit in it for six to 10 months into this clarity. And that's 2021. Just write, start writing stuff down. Start journaling. Start putting all the components together. And while you're doing that, while you're thinking the things and moving the moves, live in the moment of life. Live, don't, um, do give yourself the self-love to live in the moment um, and not focus and not necessarily just focus all your energy on this particular project and this particular structured project that you feel it has to be like boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right. Let's move into, um, yeah, let's move into the Trust Your Vibe cards. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. All right, Aries. Let's see. Oh, Lord, we had 11. We almost had 12 minutes. It's all good. Spirit gonna do what spirit gonna do. Ratchets, ratchets, spirit gonna do what spirit gonna do. All right. Okay. Cloak yourself in light. Earth signs got this too. Oh, you guys are just getting five cards from me, four cards for everything. So cloak yourself in light. Then you had call on your joy guides, your spirit guides, because you need that with the seeking clarity. And then we have talk shop. And then we have be flexible. Yeah. Cheer up, be flexible, talk shop. Talk shop is really is um this part of your cheering up process <laughs> is it's it's just just chopping it up and communicating with different people, different things. Um, outside of all of these ideas and structures that you have. And under the hangman position for seeking clarity, you have um, call your call your joy guides. It means that's where you're going to get clarity. And again, this is um, your, the overall energy for this month is joy, is humor, is God is is that laughter, that feeling of life type of energy. Yeah, because they hate on you, and that is really um, bringing in negative energy for you. It's, it's, it's their hate. They feel you. You feel their hate. You feel their jealousy. That's why you have to cloak yourself in light. You cloak yourself in the white in the white light. Um, discover the courage to do that, and let that and shake that stuff off. Shake, sh shake that stuff off. Move out of their energy for you, because that's not your energy. That's their energy. You feel their energy, and that's why you get in the hangman position. That's why you need to seek clarity, and that's why you call on your joy guides. All right, let's get some Law of Attraction cards. We got awareness. Yeah, be aware that that's their energy. That's their energy. When I focus on positive, positive energy, I'm aware that I attract more of it. Focus on the positive energy for yourself, from your spirit guides, not the energy that they throwing at you. Generosity. Money is positive energy and it allows me to be generous to others. 
So you got awareness and you got positive energy twice. That's a double confirmation that positive energy needs to be your focus, your main awareness, your generosity, doing for others. Um, I also think that's be flexible with your money. That's too many spirit. But I thank you for them. I'm going to, visualization came um, up with a couple of other ones, but I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to tell you that because I really think you have a very good, powerful visual, visualization. Like I said earlier in your reading, um, that you already know how this particular project looks and feels and, and is like, and, and Spirit wants you to continue on that and also visualize your own um, positive energy that you're looking for and that you need so you don't be feeling all these feeling these haters feeling these haters one card for flexible and talking shop all right and we <laughs> flexible so we have a double confirmation for flexibility <laughs> two different decks be flexible Flexibility. I am flexible and adaptable to change while I pursue my ambitions. Exactly. 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 So as you pursue this structure, know that and get clarity. And get clarity within the hangman position that some of your ideas may change. You're going to have to be flexible. You're going to have to be flexible. Don't be rigid. Not if you want to see it to manifest and come to fruition. Be flexible. You got double confirmation of being flexible and you have a double confirmation of being positive. Being positive. And who am I missing? I'm missing the Trust Your Vibe cards. No, I already did those. I did everybody? Yeah, I did everybody. Because I don't feel like I need to do a fortune card for you guys. So, yeah. Aries, whatever you're doing, know that, that that hater energy is not yours. And it's going to take you 10 months, at least within 10 months. So next year, 6 to 10 months to get all the clarity that you're going to need to move this particular structure forward. To move whatever these ideas and structures that you have in place and to move it forward is going to take... 10 months okay so save this video and in 10 months tell me tell me how it came to came to fruition all right aries thank you very much i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the leos to the leo season that just passed us all right Leos, 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 what energy, what message, I mean, do we have for our Leos? Leos, thank you for allowing me to connect to your energy, connect to your energy for September. All right, Leos, humor is came up as our overall energy if you missed the intro so how is humor going to manifest in your life or how is humor going to connect to manifesting in your life for september wow you want some movement you want some movement on something let's see let's see what your movement is on a new love or a new opportunity of a, a new emotion a new emotional opportunity it doesn't have to be love but a new emotional opportunity I'm not going to take any of those because I just felt like okay uh, any more we got the wheel, the ace of fields, or with the ace of cups and the seven of earth. Two 
two more is what I'm hearing. One, two. And then we have the Eight of Create, as well as the Boss of Fields. Leo, Leo, Leo. So. You've been waiting on a message. That's going to help you start a new beginning and to make you feel. Supported. You've been waiting on something. Because you're moving towards a new emotional beginning. And when you least expect it, it's going to come by fast. And you're going to feel supported. Okay. You may not know why. Well, so you're going to, you, you're, um, you're looking for some movement on a new beginning, emotional and a new emotional beginning. You're resting and when it when you when you're in this resting period, it's going to come fast. The news is going to come fast. And when it does, you're going to feel supported. You're going to feel really supported. You're going to be you're going to I you're going to feel like they got me. They understood why I did what I did. They're going to, that's how you feel. Somebody's going to understand why you did what you did, whatever that is. This is a general reading, of course. Um, why you did what you did. And, and you just sitting back relaxing anyway because you ain't worried about it because you're a Leo. You're like, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. But when you get that news, that message from somebody, you know, you're going to feel supported. You're going to feel validated. You're going to be, um, what's that word? Um, validated. You're going to feel victory. You're going to feel, uh, the word is not, it's coming. It, the spirit give it to me. But that's how you're going to feel. You're going to be like, I know. That's how you're going to feel. Because you're a Leo. You're like, I know. I I, uh, I knew. I told you. <laughs> that's that energy that I feel over here. When the message comes, when you hear the message, you're going to be like, I told you. I didn't do it. Or I told you. I was telling the truth. Or I told you. I told you. That's the energy that I feel. And so you're going to... You really gonna feel validated um, that you were um, that you did what you were supposed to do, and that whoever questioned something, and you know, they was wrong. <laughs> That's how I feel. All right, so you got meditate that came out. You also have decision or decide. Hmm. And talk shop, what? Interesting. Interesting. Talk shop goes where, spirit? Mm, under the eight of create, under the movement. Decision. Or it's under the ace of fields. All right. And meditate. So, as I said earlier, under um, the movement into this new emotional feeling, you're going to make the decision. And the, depending on the decision that you make, you're either going to be in a meditative state or you're just going to sit and be like, "I'm," because this is that waiting. This is this. Is this. I feel like this is this energy. 
you just you just sitting back and you relaxing. You're you know you're in your prey, Leos. You're just sitting there. You're just laying down and be like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> and then when you make the decision to do that, I think that's what this is. When you make the decision just to really lay back and not be in this, looking at this movement um, to say you, you need to hurry up and change your mind so you can move out of whatever energy that you're in, the anger, the frustrated, the feeling that somebody doesn't ever believe you or you know why they don't believe you. Know why they questioning you because of your past behavior, but I'm not going to say anything about that. So, whatever this is, when you just decide to let it go, you as the Leo let it go, make the decision to decide to let it go, to meditate, to not move, and just wait, those messages will come. Because of the, they're going to talk shop. People are going to be talking and talking and talking. And then you will get the message. And then you then you will feel validated. Then you will feel validated. But you have to first let it go. Decide to be in that meditative state. You have to decide to, to just let it go. You have to let it go. And then you may want to even tell your partner or who this person is to say, just wait and see. You'll find out. Just tell them. Just wait and see. You'll find out. All right, Leos. All right, let's see what the law of attraction has got for you guys. And then we're going to do your wisdom. Matter of fact, no, I feel like I need to do these first. And I'm doing these. I'm doing you guys out of order than of the other one. So, the law of attraction. What does the law of attraction cards have to say? Oops, not all of them. I like 15 cards. I like half the deck. You don't want half the deck. Y'all trying to sit. All right. So, the first one is <laughs> practice. Every day, I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goal. So practice, practice, keep doing the same thing. First, I thought it said patience. That's why I started laughing. But practice. Maybe needing to practice patience. I practice being the better person. That's what just came out. Practice being the better person. Because you want to fuss. Be the bigger person. If you you know your truth, and if they don't believe it yet, that's on them. You know your truth. Security. I choose to feel secure and to work so my bank account is full. You just keep doing what you're doing. Earth signs got security too, you know? And then gratitude. I am grateful and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life. Yeah, just be grateful. Just move on. Move into the energy for yourself to do what you want to do. And don't worry about what other people think about you at this point. Let's make that decision to not fester in their um, their disbelief. You know that you know that you know. And yeah, I want to say for somebody... You're trying to make up something and trying to prove your point, but, but that's not it. They need to hear it from the grapevine, so to speak. They need to hear it from the, the talk shop. Somebody else has to tell them. And it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad for somebody else to have to tell somebody to take a leap of faith. Um... That somebody else has to tell them that you're telling the truth. I mean, I'm sorry, Leo, but that's just the way it is. You disappointed this person, and so that a lot of that what you say to them, they don't believe you. So you have to, you have to regain their trust, and you have to be patient with it, and you have to practice doing what you want to do. Memories, bring up the good memories. And um, 
keep the faith that they will hear what they need to hear to let whatever this go is. Cheer up. Live in the moment. That's funny. Don't let them be stressing you out. If you know that you know the truth, the truth is yours, and you didn't do anything that that um that's hindering the relationship, that's not going anywhere, then no worries. No worries. That's what I'm saying. I'm really saying that this person is you're trying to get back in the good graces of somebody. And I hate to say it, Leo's, but that's what I that's what I'm reading. That's what I'm feeling. That's how you're gonna get your that's how you're gonna get your emotional fulfillment. That's how you're gonna feel that's the only time that's the only way you're gonna feel um validated and vindicated. That's the word that I wanted from the beginning. Vindicated because you were saying, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. And guess what? You did. You told them. You didn't lie. You didn't move. Um, you didn't you didn't stray or you didn't um you know, you didn't mess up this time around or whatever that is. So all right, Leos. All right, let's move on to our Sagittarius. Sagittarius, thank you for allowing me to connect to your energy. I do appreciate you so much. I thank you, Spirit. Hmm. It is late. It is currently 3.06 a.m. 9-7-2020. United States, the East Coast time. All right. My best friend is a Sag. All right, Saggies. I think I'm connecting into your energy. Whoops. That's way too many. All kind of cars flipped over. You have the four of earths, the six of things, and the strength card. Bottom of the deck, fool. You're the only reading this month that got the bottom of the deck. I didn't feel no energy of the bottom of the deck. Except for you guys. Three out of your four cards is movement. Is taking taking your heart on your harvest, taking your harvest and taking your ideas on the road. <laughs> That's what I get. You're taking your harvest, you're taking your ideas, and you're taking them on the road. And how are you going to need to take them on the road? You're going to need the strength. Because that's the way I'm reading this for you guys. That's the way I'm reading this. Hmm. This is good though. You're ready. You're ready to for a new adventure. I think you have the faith for it. You have the ideas. You have the finances. You have everything that you need for this new adventure. Just have to take the leap of faith and just go. And you're going by yourself. But someone's gonna someone's gonna help you out. That's what I feel because you know she got the hitchhiker, um, the hitchhiker kind of thing. But that means somebody in a vehicle, somebody who's already been established and already is going in the direction that you're going, will pick you up and move you forward. I've never read the car like that. 
somebody who is going in the direction that you're going will pick you up and help move you forward. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius. And you're protected with the strength card. You have the mental strength and the physical strength to for this journey. You have the mental and physical strength for this journey. I'm, this is exciting. I'm getting some tangles. This is very exciting. Sagittarius vacation. <gasps> Are you guys going on a vacation? Are you going to have the courage to go in somewhere even during this time of COVID? Ah, oh, that is. That takes courage. You have the money, the idea, and the finances. Mm, vacation. Time away. Let's see. Gratitude. You are grateful that you even have the opportunity to take this vacation. This is a very good reading. I'm glad this is my last reading. And I'm glad it's ending on a wonderful note. Yes, Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because this feels really, really good. And I really feel like this vacation is so deserved and so wanted. Oh. Mm. I see mountains. They got snow on them. Maybe somebody likes to mount the snow. Um, I saw blue skies. And then I got intuition. Trust your intuition. So vacation. Take time for relaxation and an adventure. Again, double connection for the full car. You're going on a new adventure. Whatever that adventure it is for you. Vacation, new job, new opportunity, whatever it is you have the finances for, you have the ideas for, and you have and you have the strength. You have the mental and the physical strength to do that. Gratitude, be grateful for all you have, definitely, because you are abundant. You are already feeling, and you know that you're abundant. You, there's, I feel that there's nothing missing, nothing broken right now for you guys. You guys are in such a good place. You're on the magic carpet. You're like, yeah, take me to my new destiny. You're like, yeah, I got my back, my suitcase packed. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get jiggy with it. Let's kind of do it. And you're going to use your intuition to find the best place for you. And the best place for your family, your best place for your partner. You need this renewed energy and renewed um, type of spirit that's there you need it you need it spirit is said get it done in 90 days get it done because i heard three months 90 days three months from whenever time you see in this video because this is timeless even though i'm doing this september i'm feeling this is really timeless for our sagittarius get that vacation in baby get the vacation in get that time in Get on your magic carpet. Fly away. Take your time came out. But trust your vibes. Take your time. Find your intuition. Take your time. You're the boss. I swear. You're the boss has come out so many times this month. I mean, for these readings. And downtime. Perfect. Perfect. Spirit wants you to have that downtime. You're the boss. You got all that you need. Sorry, card fell. You have all that you need to get it done. Take your time and your vacation. Take time. I feel like take your time is also take some time because it's downtime. Time is important. Movement is important. Resting is important. That's where you're going to find a lot of your joy. In the next 90 days, you're going to find yourself being just renewed. I mean, really, really renewed. That's how I feel. I feel when you, you'll be able to feel like you can do anything that you, you wouldn't need. You can fly. You won't even need the magic carpet anymore. That you'll be able to just 
fly on your own. That's how good it's going to feel when you come back. Yeah, that's how good it's going to feel. This is wonderful. I'm going to just really enjoy this. I'm going to really be able to enjoy this when I go to bed. All right, let's get our Law of Attraction cards. What ways are you going to be attracting your this vacation, this energy? This is great. This is great, Sagittarius. All right, let's see. We have, we have patience. I am patient, persistent, and disciplined in pursuing my goals. Just take your time being patient. Definitely. And then we have believe. You're the boss. I believe that each check I write brings money back to me tenfold. That's right. You, you have the money for the vacation. And you will get it back because you're going to be so renewed that it's just, it's like the bomb.com. You don't have so many new ideas that's going to be coming and flow. Riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. I feel like y'all going to even make money, Sagittarius. Y'all, you guys will even make money while you're gone. You're going to be using your vacation pay. You're not going to be missing a check. You're not going to be missing a check. You're not missing anything. Nothing's missing, nothing broken. Nothing's missing and nothing's broken for you guys. No one's no one's going to be jealous of you. No one's going to be able to tell stop you. You have the strength to move on. Just believe that it's there for you. Just believe that the synchronicity and your intuitions will be there for you. Be the fool. Jump. Jump. Yeah. That's it, Sagittarius. I mean, you guys are reading is the bomb. You know what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you a fortune card. I feel like I didn't give you guys enough. Because your energy is just like take a vacation. So let's see. Let's see what the Chinese fortune card says. Let's see what the Chinese question says. Tell us about this renewed spirit. And we got <laughs> spirit symbol. So that's your intuition. Your intuition will tell you where you need to go and what you need to do. Spirit didn't even want me to, to even pull nothing out. That's what I feel. That's what spirit symbol is for me. Okay, Sagittarius. Is, I mean, you guys, you guys are the bomb. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, like, subscribe, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, I do these because Spirit wants me to. I do these for you. I do this to give back to service. So I appreciate your timing and your love. Peace.